Okay. So I actually just realized right two minutes before class that these are labeled wrong. I'll fix it and repost them. Okay. But so here, what what's along the uh, so if we look at a at a, a radial along the ax azimuth of SH max, uh, what we're plotting here is the normalized radial distance. So this is that A over R, okay? So it's been, no basically R has been normalized such that you know, A over R is when it's one, that's at the wellbore wall. So what we're looking at is a plot of from the wellbore wall away from it, okay? And in the numbers there are in terms of Basically, you can think of them as wellbore radiuses, right? So that's 1.1 wellbore radius, 1.2 out to one and a half wellbore radiuses. Okay. And so, if you, what we're so this is just a, a plot of the variation of the hoop stress as we move away from the wellbore. Okay. And so if we move away along SH max, you can see that there's a small increase actually. Uh, out to what eventually is the, the far field stress, 20 MPa. So basically, it, as we move away, as we move away uh, along the distance SH max, along the radial distance SH max, we increase to the point where eventually we sort of come into equilibrium with the far field stress. Okay, and that happens rather quickly, like within one and a half ra radiuses. Yeah. Uh, well, it it probably so. Remember, this is a discrete calculation, right? That we've actually stuck in numbers, okay? And those equations, they were derived assuming that this 20 MPa is at infinity, okay? So th there there might be a small variation, just due to that inconsistency. You know, here, here this is a line where we're sticking in real numbers only out to one and a half radiuses away. That's not that far, right? Whereas the 20 MPa is at infinity, essentially. Right? So th that's, do, that's where the small variation comes from. But, <clears throat> but more importantly is over here, okay, is that what you can see is at the wellbore wall, I mean, this, this is the far field stress, right? And so at the wellbore wall, we have a stress intensity that's almost three times higher than the far field stress. So this is sort of the point of this plot, is that, you know, along the SH max, there's a stress intensity associated due to the fact that there's a hole there, a circle there, right? So the hole causes a stress intensity. So when you guys take mechanics, uh, do, you, do, you, do you do like stress intensity factors around holes, or so you you look at pro holes problems with inclusions in them or something. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you may have seen this sort of behavior before, but basically, due to the fact that there's a hole in, in our material, there's a stress intensity there at the wall. And in this case, it's, you know, it's almost three times at the wall, uh, the far field value. And you can see as we move away, at one and a half radiuses away, it's still like twice, almost twice uh, the far field stress. Okay. So that stress intensity is what, you know, eventually leads to breakouts occurring in that in that area if the rock's not strong enough. So here's a variation of the wellbore stresses. So this is all three of them, uh, just plotted for those those given values just plotted around the radius at the wellbore wall, okay? And so you can see sigma theta theta basically increases between these min minimum and maximum values. And sigma RR, in, in the, if you remember what I pointed out with those numbers, sigma RR is, was zero, right? Because it's really just delta P at the wellbore wall, and delta P was zero, right? So sigma RR is zero. And then just like I mentioned, the, the, in terms of the principal stresses, um, th 
the, the ZZ component of, is the intermediate one always, okay? Okay, so I just what I said is not true in, in this region right here, right? In this region right here, sigma ZZ would be the highest stress, principal stress, okay? But it turns out that this, this region is sort of in the middle. Uh, it's not a maximum or a minimum, so it turns out it's not that important in terms of what we really care about is where breakouts are going to occur, and they're not going to, if they're, they're not going to occur here without them occurring there first at the maximum. So that's what we really care about. 